You know, I tried for years to get the original Wild Dogs line up together so we could take advantage of the uh, 20th anniversary of the uh, 80s metal thing, you know. And for a while, we'd go to Jeff's house, we'd jam, record, and do you know, a bunch of stuff, and uh, just never worked out that way. Jeff didn't want to play it, those old songs. Nobody wants to hear the old songs. We have to make a new album, and that never transpired. And uh, But we did do a reunion show, a couple of them, one in 1987. That was pretty good. And uh, then another one in 1993. It was actually, uh, I, I suggested, since I was in a cover band with Al Seahorn and Jeff, why don't we get Al to sing the Reign of Terror songs and I'll sing everything else. That way we could cover the entire gamut of the Wild Dogs songs. So that's what we did. So do I get to take one of these home with me? So I got to say something nice, so if, you know, Shelly sees it, she's going to crack me or something. Yeah. I had hey. a okay? I'll turn it off. Hold yes. on. <laughs> Anybody see a, my black bag that was right there? No, I just got it. Yeah, um, I think it walked away. There's a lot. Okay. <laughs>
I decided to uh, make it kind of a theatrical production and had my girlfriend dress up as Daffy Duck and Mongo from the Lugnuts had the Daffy Duck costume that he had been wearing at our Bloomstone gigs. And her sister, we made a Barney, the dinosaur costume, and the idea was that we'd play, you love me, blah, 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 and then Daffy Duck would come out and kill Barney at the beginning of the show. <laughs> we also had a girl with a whip, and then two girls with rank and, on rank and file with fake guns that would, and plastic masks that came out and stood on the speakers and <laughs> were like guards. I had just come back from Universal Studios or something. It was pretty cool. But uh, it was at the Star Rose. Uh, I think was it this. It was still a starry night then because I think Larry was there. And uh, let's go to that and see what goes on, man. <laughs>
One of my favorite songs in the Wild Dogs repertoire, if you know how to speak French, <laughs> is The Evil in Me. It's a, Well, hopefully that brought back some good memories. And um, if you were there, you know it was a crazy night. It was around my birthday, and uh, John Donnelly and Dane Peterson, my two friends, both are now deceased, were there. Don was in a suit, and Dane was in a wedding dress, and they were backup singers. At one point, they came and turned over a garbage can on Dean, and they didn't realize it was full of hay, and uh, it made him itchy forever. It was uh, it was kind of weird all the way around. They didn't ask Danny Kurth. Nobody even told him what was going on. They told me, don't tell Danny. We'll talk to him. And I get to practice down at Dean's Dance Carpet Store, and it was Rick Bartell. He's not one of my favorite guys, and I'm probably not one of his. I took Dean out of his band, The Enemy. But uh, we rehearsed at a carpet store, and Scott Spencer, thank God he was there, the only guy that helped. Uh, Debbie went with me on the rare occasion she actually accompanied me to any kind of thing because she's smart she doesn't go anyway a, a roll a big gigantic roll of carpet got loose from the sound and rolled and landed on her and i needed help somebody to pick the gigantic carpet off of her none of jeff's friends or nobody helped but scott spencer thank you very much you're a saint or at least a Boy Scout. And uh, so that was the big reunion show. Anyway, that was uh, what I found today looking on a computer. And so I thought I'd share it with you. My, my name is Matt McCourt. My website is usmetal.com. And I was bored, decided to make a video. I'm going to make one with Mickey D here in a minute with the footage I found of him. I shot him right next to him, like right here. And uh, that was amazing. I love Motorhead. But uh, these shirts, as you can see, I call the saw blade design. And I still have quite a few of them. <laughs> I am flourishing in obscurity. The best unknown heavy metal guy in the world. 